Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another update video. Look at me new background, don't it look festive and spoopy, and we got some, some things there. They are for a separate video, we'll talk about them later on in the week. I also don't think you can really see it, but I, I finally got bunny call, finally, um, and I also got some more festive, spoopy decorations for the background. It's nothing special, it's just a couple of pumpkins, they're not even like real pumpkins, so... Anyways, we are here to talk about some of the FNAF ports for FNAF 6, and also the physical copies for Help Wanted. Now if you missed my first video on the physical copies of FNAF, do not fret because it is linked down below and there also should hopefully be an iCard if I remember to put one. I'm kinda late to this news, so there's no reason to stall any longer, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel because when FNAF 6 comes out on Switch, we will be playing through it. And you don't want to miss that because the video that ClickTeam has shown off makes it look like a very interesting game on console. So again, let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into the physical copies. So again, not too long ago, we talked about the physical copies of FNAF that are going to be making their way out hopefully soon. And by the looks of things, they are going to be coming out very soon, at least the physical copies for uh, Help Wanted. So yesterday, the physical copies for PlayStation 4, Help Wanted, and Nintendo Switch, Help Wanted, were found on Amazon, and this is what the covers look like. Not gonna lie, I think we were all expecting them to look like this, you know, it is the official box art, so it just made sense. For PlayStation, of course, it has PS4, it says PlayStation VR mode included. It has the ESRB teen rating, it has Duo Studios, surprisingly, no scottgames.com. And then it also says enhance your gameplay with PSVR. Off to the side, on Amazon, it shows um, some screenshots. I don't know where these are going to be, if they're going to be on the back of the cover of the, you know, the physical copy, or if they're going to be like inside, maybe they'll have like a little manual. That would be so cool. A little like Fazbear Entertainment uh, manual um, for, for the VR game. I don't know, it's a stupid idea, but I'm the, I'm the type of person that likes those things. And it's kind of like the uh, survival logbook where it walks you through being a security guard, playtesting the game. Um, again, probably not gonna happen, but still will. It's a damn good idea. And then for the Switch, it's basically the same thing. You got the official box art, you got Nintendo Switch, Steel Wars Studios, the teen rating. These physical copies go for the same price as the normal game, $29.99 United States dollars. I have no clue what that is in other currencies. You can do the math. Now, probably the most interesting thing about these physical copies is their release date. You know, we all speculated, oh, maybe they're going to be releasing soon, or maybe we'll just have to wait a bit longer because the companies that are, you know, made, that made these games are working on other projects. You know, ClickTeam is still porting some of the games and um, Steelwall is working on Security Breach. So we had no clue when these things were going to be available, but it turns out they might just be available at the complete end of this year, at least for Help Wanted because it has a release date of December 15th. Very, very close to 2021 but not quite. So we can expect to see these hopefully by the end of this year. Whether or not that is going to be the confirmed release date, because honestly, you can never know in 2020 when things are just going to randomly just not exist at the time you expect them to exist, you know, security breach. I hope they stick by this release date because honestly, it would make for a great Christmas present for people. Um, personally, I wanna get them. I think I'll definitely get the Nintendo Switch physical copies because even though I already own the game, I, I so badly want to have it on Switch, and I finally can get a physical copy of FNAF. Now, as for the core collection, we don't have cover artwork for that, nor do we know if they are going to be released separately, you know, like have FNAF 1, then 2, 3, 4, etc., or if it's just going to be FNAF, the collection, the core collection, and then when you go into the game, you can select you want to play through FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Based off of collection, I feel like it'll probably be that last option, where you just have one cartridge, you have one physical copy of the game, and then you can select which one you want to play. Personally, I would like to have different um, copies for each one, but that's just me. But again, because it is called the core collection, I feel like they are going to be all in one, which I'm not complaining about. I feel like that would also be cool, you know, selecting, oh, I want to play through FNAF 1, 2, 3, and then as you, let's say as you hover over them in the main menu, the background will change from Freddy to Toy Freddy to Springtrap to Nightmare Freddy. 
I think that would be cool. So no release date for the core collection just yet, but again, hopefully they come out around the same time. Then again, I feel like the most likely option will be 2021 because if the core collection is all of the games put into one, Click Team still needs to finish off um, Pizza Sim and Ultimate Custom Night. And hey, speaking of Pizza Sim, clean segue, let's talk about it. So the other day, Click Team finally revealed the release date for the ports for FNAF 6, aka Pizza Sim. They released this one minute video, which really could have been condensed down into like a 20 second clip. Really, all the video is, is just the day section, you know, when you're in the office, and then it flashes October 31st, 2020, Nintendo Switch and Xbox coming soon to PS4. That's really all it is, they didn't need this full video for it, but it does reveal some controls for the game, and we can go over them quickly right now. So as we can see in the video, it looks like this is being played on the Nintendo Switch, so we are going to be going by those controls. As you can see, you turn on and off the fan by pressing the Y button and you turn on and off the PC by pressing X. It's not showing any buttons for navigating the monitor so I'm guessing that's probably just the analog sticks. Um, to activate the motion scanner you press A and then to go back when you're doing a task you press B. So that's really it. <laughs> I, I told you there was no need for that video though it does uh, still provide some good information on what the controls are going to be like. We also have a confirmed price for the game. It's going to be the exact same price as all of the other FNAF games on consoles, which I know people are going to be pissy about, but you got to keep in mind, it took them this long to get to the game uh, for a reason, you know? The, the reason why it took so long for people, for Click Team to make this game and to release it and to port it out was because they got to do a lot of stuff with this game. I don't think you realize this, but there are a lot of controls in Pizza Sim. You gotta navigate the catalog, you gotta move around the office, you gotta pan around the pizzeria, and you got to place stuff down, you gotta play test all of the minigames. They have to come up with new controls for, like, what, three? Four different platforms because of console and iOS and Android, so like, four or five? It's a lot. Um, for such a complex game. So that's the main reason why it took this long, and that is also why, you know, it costs money. Scott made Pizza Sim and UCN free because it it was his game that he made, but now that he's making other people do the work and port it o over to other platforms, you know, they gotta get paid for doing their job. I still don't get why people don't understand that, <laughs> you know? Um, also like, eight US bucks, that's, <laughs> to be fair, that's not eight dollars, that's, that's not a whole lot. You can spare some eight dollars, you know, you don't need to get your coffee today, you can spare eight bucks for a game. And if you really want to play the game, you'll spend the money. And if you realize, hey, maybe I don't want to pay eight bucks for the game, don't fucking buy the game! <laughs> I realize the picture I'm showing right now is in uh, European pounds, but just know that the, the main point I'm trying to make is that it's the same price as FNAF. Um, which in US dollars was $7.99, so again, it's going to be the same price, and I'm sure we can expect that with UCN when it gets ported to consoles as well. And that's really all the news. Uh, I originally wanted to do a video talking about all the FNAF AR stuff, you know, like the new update, Jacko Chica, and also the FNAF AR merchandise, which I did buy, by the way, nearly $180 off of that merchandise. God, that is, that is ridiculous. You guys better watch my review on the merch when it comes out, because that is, that's a lot of money. But at this point now, it's like, everyone knows about all that stuff, and I could make a video about it, but at this point, what's the point? So yeah, that's really it. Again, I'll get to these guys soon. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait to talk about them for eight minutes. Oh my god, th those things, right? Depressed Fanny over there, what is up with her? So yeah, uh, that's really it. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. Share it with some people. Not everybody knows about this stuff, because... Uh, the ports don't really get talked about a whole lot for some reason, and I know a lot of people really want info on them, so if your friend is asking you like, hey, you got any more info on FNAF 6, which I get those comments a lot, surprisingly, share, the vi share this video with them, you know? Have them smash the like and subscribe. <laughs> We're so close to 10k, come on. Anyways, I'm done begging, I'll see you guys later, adios. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.